If you've ever taken a general biology or botany class, you probably had to memorize this equation here. It's the equation for photosynthesis. And so plants need carbon dioxide and water, and then they're going to join them together. That takes energy to build things. That energy comes from light. They convert light energy into chemical energy of sugars. So they get up sugars and then plants give off oxygen as a waste product. Now why do you got to know this equation if you're not in class? Well, photosynthesis, most people know, provides plants with their food, their sugars. But it is so much more than that. Now, here's a little secret. What really comes out of photosynthesis is not this sugar here, this glucose. A molecule called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate does. That's not important. What is important is that this little molecule can be used to make glucose, but it can also be used to make proteins and oils. And so almost every metabolic pathway in the plant is dependent on photosynthesis. So if your rate of photosynthesis is going slow, your plant's going to grow slower. So to maximize growth, to maximize yields, you need to maximize photosynthesis. So to do that, you have to give the plants everything that they need for photosynthesis. Now when people start growing, they're like, well, what should I start with? And I'm like, a good light. Light is the energy source. So if plants don't have enough light, the rate of photosynthesis will be less. Then water. Growing indoors, plants don't have to worry about droughts. Remember, never overwater your plants. Your plants shouldn't be in standing water, which is like a flood. So you give your plants a good light source and you water them properly. The last thing we have here is carbon dioxide. Now, most of us just rely on passive carbon dioxide. We, there's carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But many scientific studies have shown that when you increase the amount of carbon dioxide, your plants are going to grow at a faster rate. So by supplementing or adding carbon dioxide in your grow room, the rate of photosynthesis is going to be proceeding at a faster rate. Plants will grow and you'll get higher yields. So to really maximize your plant growth, if you're watering, giving your plants nutrients and a really good light, adding carbon dioxide to your grow area is going to increase your rate of growth and your yields.